Stringham Marquis. We're just hanging out enjoying the first 80 degree weather of the year. <laughs> oh, it's getting sizzling. No, no, we did all our cooking on the grill earlier. Oh, we did the mushroom and onion when you get the nice glaze. Mmm, mushrooms and the onions. And when yes. you smash the burger, they called it a smash burger because you smash the burger. You do the smashing is what yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a not a Worcester on top for the extra sauce. A little bit of Coors Banquet. And I think they call it that because uh, they used to serve it at the banquet halls. You gotta have it for a banquet. You gotta have a banquet, you need the Coors. What you need here, because we are doing dude brew hat, is we need a nice brew. And what we got is this Carlsberg Pilsner. You see that there? Carlsbad? Yeah, like the caverns. No, Carlsberg. Berg, oh, like uh, Pennsylvania. Carlsberg, like Pennsylvania, yep, that's it. What now, what got me on this beer was it said on the six pack, probably the best beer in the world. And I was like, really? Let's find out. It's a Danish style Pilsner, 1847 onwards. So I got my nice, mostly clean glass. Up, up, ding! Up, 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 thunk. And, we and got... Uh, I got a, an, an actually clean cup that uh, Danny procured from uh, It was the studio. last one in Studio A. Oh, no joke? No joke. Oh, that's crazy. So here we go, I got the... Oh, you got yours? I got mine on here. Oh. Without further ado, let's you crack, crack, crack that here, brew. Crack this brew for your, uh, it's a penalty for you uh, <laughs> cracking your brew ahead of time. This yeah, guy, wait, I tell wait, you. Wait, no, not that. There no, you go. This guy is a real Carlsberg. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a dirty pour. I see uh, Danny's going with the uh, triple Lindy. An approach. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just getting Trying in there. The oh, 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 I'm never going to call her back. And then we're going to put this right here, show it to the people. And, uh, ooh, it's got that skunk to it. Ooh, it smells good. Do all beers in green bottles have a skunk to them? Maybe they do. Maybe it's, that's part of the experience of green. That's what I've seen so far. Mm, okay. It's smooth. Imminently drinkable. It's got high drinkability. Great belchability. Oh, good belch factor. It, uh, I'd say, uh, harkens to the flavor of, say, like you said, like a Heineken. Heineken. Definitely. Yeah, green bottle. It's a green bottle beer. It's not as skunky as a Heineken. No. It's uh, got that little sweetness of like almost like an apple juice in the front. Ooh. Although I must say, for the ladies and the gentlemen out there, Probably the best beer in the world? I don't think so. It's a good beer, but the advertising leaves a little bit to be desired, you know what uh, I mean? Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's is uh, after working in the yard kind of beer. It's totally great for what we're doing right now. It's a Pilsner that acts like a lager. Mmm, yes it is. And I've been getting more into Pils a little bit lately. Uh, I, my Uncle Jack really liked Heineken, and it's just a straight ahead, just like, that's a, I think that's what they mean with probably the best beer, is like, it's just, it tastes like a beer, right? We've gotten into this world of IPAs where you can make it taste like blueberries or sriracha or whatever, and it's like, no, just like, give me the beer flavor, and that's what this has. I tried this new uh, blueberry sriracha beer the other day, <laughs> and I tell you, that was, that was something. The fact that it was a sour really blew my mind. <laughs> but I'll definitely be cooking with it. <laughs> well, on a rating scale, I would give this just a solid four. It's a solid four for me. It's a very, it's a good beer. Uh, I would drink it. I'd say a four and a quarter. Uh, I would stock my fridge with this. You say it's what, about $14.99 for a sixer? Yeah, that's, I, I think it's slightly overpriced due to its opinion of itself being the best. Well, what's the uh, booze uh, amount in it? I don't know. I'm going to say a 5.7%. I just think it seems like a... Shooting from the hip on 5.7, huh? A standard... I, I, I think it might be in 5%. the four, 5%. Yeah, so this is a... You can take these with you on, on a boat trip. 
Oh, it's a great boat beer. Um, anywhere that you, you know, just basic beer. It's a, it's a great other basic beer in the sense that, like, people are like, oh, what is that other beer that... Right, yeah, then, it's not a Heineken. It's not a Coors Banquet. It's it's the other one. You like Rolling Rock? You're probably going to like this. Uh, what's that other one with the really cool bottle? Grolsch. Grolsch. I like that one, too. Oh, it's a good beer. It's a and you get a nice, solid bottle out of it. You heard it here first, folks. Carlsberg Caverns. Check it out. 4.25. And I'm your pal, George Gorbin. And I'm Danny Stringham Marxist. And we're out of here. Well, once the beer's gone. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we gotta finish the beer. Yeah. The fire's still going, too, so we might be here in there. Yeah, there is a... Carl's not that bad, though. Why do they say that? <laughs>